do you get excited when you spot a wild animal? Maybe a squirrel in your garden or a rabbit in the woods. Maybe a deer roaming in a country park. <laughs> I know I do. When I traveled around the world, I saw lots of wild animals. Some big and strong, some small and exotic, and some very rare. Let's take a peek at some of them together. In Africa, I saw my first camel. Camels are amazing animals. They have a big hump on their back, which stores food. This allows the camel to travel long distances across hot, sandy deserts without getting hungry. Camels also carry passengers. When there's more than one camel, it's called a camel train. <laughs> peep, peep. I guess that makes the camel a really useful animal. <laughs> the tallest animal I've ever seen is a giraffe. They have really long necks so that they can reach high into the trees to eat leaves. They're very elegant creatures who roam the savanna plains of Africa. We have giraffes in the animal park on Sudor. Once, when the generator broke, we had to find them somewhere warm for the night. So we took them to Tidmouth Sheds. Did you know there are two types of elephant? The African elephant and the Asian elephant. I didn't know how to tell them apart until someone explained to me that African elephants have much bigger ears. The Asian elephant may have smaller ears, but just like African elephants, they're very strong. I learned that when I was traveling in India. I had an accident and came off the tracks and got stuck in the mud. That's when I met Trusty Trunky, an elephant who was strong enough to push me back onto the track. When I was in Africa, a large bull elephant charged at me. Thankfully, my truck sang a beautiful lullaby, which calmed the elephant down and sent him to sleep. Luckily, he had big ears to hear the lullaby. <laughs> now, I like to be cheeky, and I'm sure sometimes, just like me, you get called a cheeky monkey. Well, in India, the monkeys are very cheeky indeed. <laughs> they made me laugh. <laughs> but they're only having fun. Monkeys are actually very clever and very helpful. In China, I learned all about the giant panda, a large black and white bear. They're very rare and hard to spot in the wild. So imagine my surprise when I finally saw some baby panda cubs with their mother. Oh, they were so cute. In the rainforest of Australia, I saw koalas. These funny little creatures spend most of the day sleeping in trees and eating eucalyptus leaves. Then I met a koala called Banjo. He was causing confusion and delay as he wouldn't move out of my way. I soon learned that koalas don't like to be rushed and can be quite slow. Unlike kangaroos who bounce around the outback at high speed. They have strong, powerful legs and can jump really high. Mummy kangaroos carry babies called joeys in their pouches. I guess that's another way of carrying passengers. <laughs> Maybe one day you can be one of my passengers and we could see lots of wild and wonderful animals together. All aboard for a big adventure. Hello, it's me, Thomas, the number one blue tank engine. I've learned so many new things on my worldwide adventure that I love sharing. Let's discover more!